Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633, back with another Star Wars review. This time we're going to take a look at one of the older 6-inch Black Series figures, and that is the Stormtrooper, which was the ninth release overall in the Star Wars 6-inch Black Series scale. Now, I actually didn't get this originally, and I had to get this recently from an online retailer. So it's nice that I actually was able to finally get a hold of this release, since the 40th anniversary one is so hard to find. I've never been able to find it at all. So anyways, we're going to take a look at the box. The box is actually in the orange style boxes, since these are actually the style that they chose for the releases when they first came out. On the back it has a buy was normal, but that's about it. You're not going to get a whole lot of deal going on with these figures. Now the figure itself is quite similar to the figure that I already reviewed, and that is the Walmart exclusive Battlefront Trooper. Now as a comparison, we're just going to get this out of the way first. Here he is next to the Battlefront Trooper, and the mold itself is pretty much identical. Obviously, this version of the Trooper is vastly different in terms of paint, but the overall sculpt is pretty much the same overall, even down to the little decals inside the interior part of its body there, so that's interesting. Articulation, you're going to have the exact same we'd be seeing with the other figure. It has a ball joint on his head. He has universal shoulder joints with pretty decent movement. He does have swivels at the biceps. A single joint, actually no, I take it back, he actually has a double joint, but it's hard to move sometimes. He has fully jointed wrists, but he does have a little bit of problem going up and down because it's a bit tight on the joint there. He has really nice ab articulation, and it's really tight and nicely done with QC there. He has our movement on the hips, swivels at the thighs, a double joints at the knees, and fully jointed ankles. So it's pretty much all what you need for a Stormtrooper. Here he is next to Darth Vader. So he does still scale nicely with Imperial-like characters or Sith Lords. So that's really nice that you can actually have a bunch of Stormtroopers going around. But other than that, it's still a very basic figure. You're not going to get a whole lot of pizzazz or anything else. It is very nicely sculpted, but the overall design is pretty simplistic. Similar to the Battlefront Trooper, you can take the blaster and plug it in his holster there. So that's cool that it is still included. And it does include the rifle as well. It looks to be the exact same design and paint as the Battlefront Trooper, so you're not going to get a whole lot of difference if the camera could actually focus. For some reason it is having a hard time doing so. Hopefully we can try to fix it here. Well, what's causing the problem here? There we go. So it's focusing up. So overall, if you have the Battlefront Trooper, you're not going to get a whole lot of difference between the two, but it is still nice to actually own a Standard 6-inch Stormtrooper in my collection overall since now we're gonna bring out the rest of the original 11 and see how they look like together in 6-inch form. And with the release of the Stormtrooper now we have all 12 of the original releases side by side. Obviously there are some few differences since I do not still have the 40th anniversary version of Chewbacca based on his new Hope design and the Luke Leia and some of the other figures are the original Black Series releases, but it's nice to even just have one version of each of the characters to represent the original 12 in 6 inch form. So, I really am glad that I finally was able to get a hold of a Stormtrooper, even though it was quite difficult to track one down in the first place, and unfortunately I did have to go back to the older release. So, I'm just glad that I'm actually able to get this all together, and they look really nice together side by side. Anyways, I got this figure actually at BBTS, since obviously the older releases are no longer in store, so I had to go ahead and get one of their older stocks that BBTS had in their store. But other than that, the figure is really well made, and I really enjoyed what Hasbro has done for the 6-inch scale, and it's unfortunate that it took me so long to really get into this line, since I missed out on a lot of cooler releases near the beginning. Anyways, please comment and subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check my Twitter, Darkon633, and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go up as soon as possible, and back with more Star Wars reviews, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.